Welcome back to my channel. I am Diamond76 Home Decor on a budget. Now for today's video, I wanted to show you really quickly how my new dining room table looks. Yay! And let me, I don't have everything completely set up right now because I, I was so excited to receive my buffet. Um, it came on yesterday and I had already had the table. I completely forgot to move the table back from the buffet, but that's okay. Um, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I just wanted to give you a general idea of what I plan, how I plan on decorating my table for entertaining. And I do have my back door open so that way I can have plenty, plenty of lighting. And let's go ahead and get into the video. And if it is a little long, I do apologize for that. Now, this is the table that I purchased. It is a round table. What I love about this table is the walnut look of the table, the color of the table. And I am really loving this table. And what I decided to do was I decided to, of course, um, bring in a little bit of uh, blush pink for the table setting. Now you don't have to do this, it's just, in, just to give you an idea, and I do have another one that's different, just to give you an idea. Now, um, what I did was, these napkins right here, I got them from Josh and May, and they are really thick. I love the champagne trimming that is on the napkins. Also, I got the napkin rings from Josh, uh, was it Josh and Maine? I think it was Josh and Maine. The uh, wine glasses that I do have up here. Now, I do know with, with table settings, you're supposed to have a water glass and a wine glass. Um, I didn't want to pull everything out, so I just pulled out these glasses right here. And I don't use this one a lot, but this one is from Ikea, and I kept that on, and I'm going to take it off because the rest of them are taking off. And the plates, I got these from Burlington's, and I just love the designs in the bowls and in the plate. Now, these right here... I came from Kohl's and the chargers that I have on here, guess where they came from? They came from the dollar store during the Christmas season. Yes! <laughs> Score! And the silverware that I have on here that are in gold, I got those from Target online. Okay, now, like I said, I do have a different place setting and this is it right here. These right here I purchased from, I think, Josh and Maine, I think. And uh, again, the plate that's up under here is from Kohl's. And again, the charger, the silver chargers are from the Dollar Tree. The silverware is from Kohl's as well. Now, these aren't my good, good, good silverware, but I just wanted to... Um, just add them just to give you an idea of a different place setting that you can use you can also do this as well if you want to okay but i like the silver and i'm going to show you the reason why um and the napkin rings are silver as well and i'm going to show you in a reason why i chose to use the gold now you don't have to now, again, this is the table right here. The um, vase that I have right here, I think I got that from Home Goods. And I kept the stickers 
on the flowers because I want to make sure that I remember where I got them from. And I got them from, uh, it said Hobby Lobby. I got those from Hobby Lobby. And I'm thinking I got these from Michaels. These from Hobby Lobby, these from Michaels, okay? And don't pay no attention to the TV right there because that's gonna be moved too. And I know I didn't have to say anything, but I'm loving the chairs and I did have the chairs treated um, before when I ordered them, I did have them treated and they are trimmed with that uh, walnut looking wood okay now i have a mess in my dining room and kitchen so if you see something that's okay now my piesta resistance is my chandelier i got that from uh um home women um home depot i got that from home depot the reason why i wanted this chandelier is because i i wanted to go with this table right here i had this type of color in the table in mind for weeks okay and i had to i started off with the chandelier and at first i didn't think that i was going to be able to find the table the same color as the chandelier now I do know that the branches are going up into the chandelier but they're not touching the bulbs but they are going up and there is an opening right here and they are going up and I forgot to say those flowers were like $6.99 uh, these twigs right here they were like $6.99 and I can't remember how much the flowers were but I didn't want to obstruct the view of the table because the table is round so I chose to go for something tall now over here okay this is the new buffet that I received from Badcock Furniture and as you can see it is uh, black now let me explain something really quick I ordered two buffets okay both of them were supposed to be the color of the table and they have the glass doors and they are a little bit longer but what happened was both of them are on back order and that is perfectly fine because I am so happy with Badcock furniture right now I could <laughs> I don't I'm just excited um, but what happened was they are on back order so what I did was I switched one of them out for this one this one is going to go into the living room okay and then I'm gonna put the one that's on back order right here that matches the table but I'm gonna see what happens because I'm loving this piece with the dining room table but I'm going to see how the one that matches the table and chairs as well as my chandelier how it will look if it's too matchy matchy then I'm going to put it in the living room but this piece right here came on yesterday and let me get down it is distressed a little bit a uh, well a lot I love the bumpiness because I saw it in their catalog I love the glass doors I love the handles that are on here what I'm going to do is once um, uh, it is black on the inside and I just have some books on here because I was styling the top of this I am going to put all of my good dishes um silverware everything in here and i haven't cleaned it out and i gotta clean it out so excuse the dust um that you do see in there and i am loving look at the doors and you may see my cat too <laughs> but i am loving this unit right here and this is how i chose to decorate the top of it I had already purchased these lamps right here from Josh and Maine. And what I love about these lamps is the linen-like uh, design that is going through the uh, lampshade. The lampshade, I mean, excuse me, the base of the lamp 
it is it's supposed to be a navy blue but up against this um, it looks black and what I did was I uh, purchased a book from Amazon this is beautifully organized and this is by Nikki she does have a YouTube channel on YouTube and I purchased her book and this is a cookbook right here up under it the flowers I the plants I got from they were $14.99 excuse me they were $14.99 um, I'm thinking if I got these from Burlington, I'm not quite sure. I think I got those from Burlington. Now, with these candles right here, I got the white candles from the at-home store. And I just put them in a tall cylinder. They, I didn't want anything up here that had a low candle that my grandkids could get into. Now I did do a haul on the majority of this stuff right here, but these were the boxes that I did a haul on and I just have my uh, coasters in here. And I think I got these from, either I got these from Home Goods or I got them from uh, TJ Maxx, I'm not sure. So I keep them in here and I'm going to use these for storage. These candles right here, and I think I got those from the at-home store. The cylinder vases I made, I bought the cylinder vases from the Dollar, the Dollar Tree. And the candle vases, I can't remember where I got those from. It may have been the Dollar Tree. And this uh, gold tray right here with the marble black running through it. Um, it was $24.99 and I got that from Target. And this book right here, I got it from the Dollar um, the thrift store and this one I got from the Dollar Tree now as for the artwork I know it is kind of bold okay but I got this artwork from the at-home store I wanted something this is my year to be bold okay it looks a little bluer on camera but it is not um, I don't know why when we film something it looks a little bit darker than what it's supposed to look like but I wanted something bold I wanted something that screamed ham if you've seen my office tour then I did the same thing with the artwork and it is trimmed in gold as you can see I just wanted something a little bit bold I wanted something that wasn't so elegant that people cannot come over here but at the same time make a statement and that's what i wanted to do with this buffet right here i wanted to make a statement as well as the flowers now you were probably wondering from my pictures on instagram because i didn't have anything over here what is pam doing <laughs> Now you know what Pam was doing, okay? And I'm trying to stand back a little bit so that way you can see everything and how it looks. And the thing of it is that even though my walls are supposed to be a gray color, they do have a blue undertone to them, okay? And that is okay. I was not going to try to fight it. I wanted to see what I can do and it was a challenge to see what I can do because the the walls were giving me that blue undertone even though they were supposed to be gray that is okay because I did not fight it I just went ahead and went with the flow to see what I can bring in that will go with the walls okay and like I said, it, everything it was per everything is perfect. I have more than enough room to walk through here if I want to, and um, I did not know that this table. Uh oh, I bumped into something. I did not know that the table was going to be as big as it was when I got it into my home. That's why you need to measure, measure, measure. Okay, and. Like I said, so far I'm loving. I have plenty enough room to walk around. Um, what I need to work on is like, oh, excuse me, like the cords right there. 
Um, I'm gonna have to work on what I'm gonna do is either get a big tall plant to put here and here so that way you can't see the cords that are on the floor. And to tell you honestly, I did wasn't sure of how this was going to go with uh, the table right here. But yeah, oh, and one more thing. This is the rug that I decided to go with. And we probably should have went for a bigger rug, but um, if you watch my live I explained the situation that I was having with another table that I had purchased and it was like a nightmare and when I walked into Badcock they treated me oh my god like a queen when I went into that store and I have to give a big shout out to Badcock Furniture as well as Miss Lee who was my sales associate when I said she was absolutely fantastic she was absolutely fantastic they treated me oh my god it's just I was I was calm and cool and because of the customer service that I got from that cock furniture especially when I found out that this uh, the other one uh, the other two were going to be on back order it was okay they invited me back into the store. If I wanted to change this out, I could. And the other one, that's gonna be on back order, but I'm willing to wait because of the excellent, excellent, excellent customer service that I got from Badcock Furniture. And I just wanted to bring you this video right quick just to show you what I did and how I decorated the table. And I wanted enough room so that way, because um, I do have a lot of people that come over, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that the table um, was big enough. I also wanted to make sure that when I entertain, I can hook this up. Okay, and um, there was something, oh, as far as when I got this table, I asked for a fifth chair not realizing that I only had place settings for four. But that is okay, that is okay. I will figure something out um, if I have to go get uh, another place setting, um, I'm not sure. But I have more than enough room for everyone to sit at. Now as far as the rug, I may have to get a bigger rug, but I'm not sure. Um, but I am loving how everything tied in together. I never thought that I would like something distressed like this, but I'm loving it, loving it. Okay, let me go ahead and end this video. I just wanted to, I was so excited, I just wanted to show you what, um, how the uh, dining room came together. I still got some things that I need to add, like something on the end and on the end right here. But, um, oh, and one more thing. When they do houses or apartments, I really don't like the fact that they don't center these chandeliers. Oh my goodness. But, you know, that's okay um, because as you can see, you can see the chandeliers a little over this way and the pictures over this way. And I have the buffet even with, because I have the picture in the stud. Um, it's a lightweight picture, but I was not giving up my stud, okay? I was not. <laughs> if I want to, I can swing the um, chandelier over if I want to. Um, we ordered the lights off of Amazon. I did not get them at the Home Depot store. They were high, okay? So I went on Amazon. And let me tell you, really quickly, these are the things that you can do to your home. Like those uh, vases, the cylinder vases, a dollar, okay? Um, this one came from Home Goods, but it was like probably $5. These are the things that you can do to your home. These plates right here were $14.99 for a set of four. So what I'm saying is you can do whatever, and those uh, wine glasses are from Ikea. What I'm saying is you can decorate your home so beautifully. You 
you know, it's just your thought and what you want to do, what you want to add in. And like I said, I am Diamond 76 Home Decor on a budget. And some things I can't be on the budget with and some things I can be on the budget with. But still get the overall look that I'm looking for. Let me go ahead and end this video. It is 19 minutes. Again, my name is Diamond 76 Home Decor on a budget. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel if you like home decor or luxury unboxings. And always remember to put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do. And if you want to join me on my Instagram, please join me at diamond2872. I would love to have you on my Instagram. And I hope that you stayed for the whole video. And again, I'm Diamond76, known as Pam. I will talk to you guys later.